Now, in English alphabet, please note, never say alphabets, say letters. We have 26 letters in English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, we need to focus on the sounds. English language with these 26 letters can manage to make n number of words in English. Now, A, for example, can manage three sounds. A, that is a sound by itself. A, 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 agent, A, where can you say A, ask, adjacent, A, B, C again C works for cha that is change C works for sa k circus change D E again E manages three sounds E eagle E can manage a egg again E also gives a sound of a P E R per 25 rupees per kg, 3 dollars per pound. I, I, ice cream, ice, I, ink pot, it also manages the sound of E. And bird, B I R D, bird, it manages or goes for the sound of Ah. Similarly, O. O manages A, that is orange. O, where can you see O? Original. And it can also say U, that is T O 2. Now, U. Again, it's a tricky one. Whenever you are making the sound of U, you can just find like university. But in case of umbrella, it is A. Now, all these sounds A, E, I, O, U, in these sounds, when you are pronouncing U as U, it is not a vowel. A, E, I, O, U, then these are verbal sounds verbal sounds are what it's very easy for a, a better understanding let me demonstrate in this way whenever a sound is coming out of this larynx this sound box if the sound is not getting disturbed by any mouth part and which has almost no relation with the nose nostrils we say it's a verbal sound now ah Ah, ah. There's no connection with nostrils and mouth parts are not disturbing the sound which is coming. E, 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 e. There is no difference when I close my nostrils and when I open my nostrils. The sound is same. I, 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 O. O, 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 U, 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 U. But there is a difference when I say U, 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 U. So U is not a verbal sound. U is a verbal sound. So when we are using this letter for the purpose of U or A, then it is verbal. Now, Having known so, where can we apply this knowledge? We can apply this knowledge in case of deciding whether to write A or an. For example, there is a noun, there is a word, egg. This is a singular word 
and when you are not particular about a certain egg or we are not specifically mentioning so and so egg then you can say an egg and here i expect you to ask me a question why should not we say a egg why should we say an egg we should say an egg because here the beginning sound for this singular noun is a and a e i o u they belong to verbal category so here we need to say an similarly table a table here we need not write an because yes this is a noun non specificity is there it is a singular but the beginning sound is consonant sound so a table we can make many examples in this manner now let us go to the next part english language many basics are there but in our classes in our sessions we shall focus only on two things which are much essential for us in order to